See the description box below for more information about James Crowell and others who looked for the riddle to the Ice Ages. Also, become more aware of climate deception. The Scottish Enlightenment took place between roughly 1720 1790. And there are many famous figures that are well known. David Hume, Adam Smith, James Hutton. Slightly after that, a, a really important person in terms of climate change was born in Perth and worked in Edinburgh. James Crowell really was the first person to have a thorough modern understanding of climate change, of how delicate the climate system is, how small perturbations could ma grow, magnify, and have a large effect on the climate system. In the 1800s, the interest was in glaciations, and so he's best known for being the first person to explain glaciations as being paced by astronomical changes in the Earth's orbit. But even more importantly, he was the first person to explain positive feedbacks. And these are now the key to the whole question of climate change, greenhouse warming. How big are the, how big are the positive feedbacks? Because that will determine how large the temperature rise is that we uh, eventually have. He was a real uh, visionary. He interpreted glacial records from land, but he also was really the first person to suggest that it's the re records in the sediments under the Earth's oceans that will hold the most continuous and the most detailed records of what went on. He's a, he's a product of the Scottish clearances. His father was cleared from their croft, which was just outside Perth when James was two years old. He had a very difficult childhood. He tried to become a joiner, but his elbows ossified. He sold life insurance. He ran temperance hotels. Eventually, he got a job as a janitor at Glasgow University, and that was really the best thing that happened to him because he then had access to the university library. He started working on his ideas of how glaciations took place and his work came to the notice of the Geological Survey here in Edinburgh and he uh, got a job here. He, live, he lived in Morningside and worked in the uh, India buildings in the centre of town. And so, well, Scotland has many people like this that really should be better known. And for me, James Crowell really is one of the, the earliest hero of climate change.